In the twilight hours of 2020, news of an extraordinary find has made its way to the ears of Westerners. In the same place an ancient mummified bear was found months ago, a woolly rhino carcass has surfaced. The best possible fossil to ever find is one which preserves not only the bones, but the soft tissues as well. These types of fossils are quite rare, but by now, do range in large overall numbers. Another related type of preservation is mummification. Certain recently extinct megafauna have been found mummified through the medium of permafrost, drying and cooling the remains to slow down the rate of decay. With the onslaught of global climate change, more bodies continue to melt from the glaciers, emerge from the ground, and pop out of permafrost in the northern hemisphere. Woolly rhinos are one of the giant animals which once lived alongside ancient humans throughout Eurasia and constitute a very important part of these ancient ecosystems. Rhinos tend to be rare animals today, but in Ice Age Eurasia, they were much more common than things like big cats and hippos at least common enough for people to find more than 10 mummified specimens since 1771. At this point, there's very little doubt of exactly how the soft tissue of these tundra-adapted unicorns looked in life. 2014 saw the discovery of a baby woolly rhinoceros, which was named Sasha. Now the bone, soft tissue, and integumentary anatomy of most stages of the woolly rhino's life are known. A very recent discovery of another woolly rhino ice mummy provides the first example of a juvenile woolly rhinoceros and some insight into how they changed with the seasons. The new rhino carcass was found by local resident Alexei Savin in mid-August, close to the site where baby Sasha was found in 2014. The carcass comes from permafrost deposits near the Terektiak River in the Abyski Ulus district of the Republic of Sakha, Russia. Say that ten times fast and I'll give you a cookie. Technically, the definition of permafrost is ground which remains under zero degrees Celsius for a period of two years or more. This means the new rhino mummy was buried by sediments, dried, and frozen solid. Its semi-recent age and the whole freezing solid part stopped it from decaying away to bone and becoming fossilized. Dr. Valery Plotnikov of the Academy of Sciences was the first expert to the discovery site and to describe the find. According to Dr. Plutnikov, the young rhino was between three and four years old and lived separately from its mother when it died, most likely by drowning. The sensational discovery remains in the Arctic Yakutia until ice roads can form, so it can be more easily delivered to scientists in the Republic's capital of Yakutsk. It is the best preserved juvenile rhino ever found in Yakutia, at approximately 80% complete, with many internal organs, teeth, lumps of fat, and tissues throughout the body, preserved almost like the carcass has only been sitting out for a few weeks. Its body is still covered in the thick, hazel-colored hair it had at the time of death. Dr. Plotnikov also noted the sex of the animal is still unknown. We are waiting for the radiocarbon analyses to define when it lived, but the most likely range of dates is between 20,000 and 50,000 years ago. The rhino has a very thick, short underfur. Very likely, it died in summer. The thickness of the undercoat of the juvenile rhino, combined with the extensive strawberry blonde fur of Sasha, provides evidence that the woolly rhino, Celodonta antiquitatis, was fully adapted to the cold climate of Eurasia, nearly from birth. The earlier find, Sasha, has been confirmed to date to around 34,000 years ago, making the age of the new rhino probably around the same. Two cave lion cubs, named Boris and Sparta, were also found in the region last year. I reported on the Ice Age bear mummy found earlier this year, and it too comes from the same region. 
I will note that I called it a cave bear in my video, but at the time it was unknown whether it was a cave bear or another species of bear. Most of the articles I just dug up refer to it as a cave bear, and I would definitely defer to the expertise of those that observed and described it. So I'm betting on it being a cave bear, Ursus spilius. More mummies are sure to follow as more permafrost melts. Make sure you like this video and share it around. Leave a comment if you like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon too if you want to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching. Pledge to my Patreon at any tier you like for a slew of many delicious offerings. Special thanks to patrons Dinosaur, Natty Cat, Steve Bradshaw, Thais Fenson, Arda Bayer, Ray M, Dana Manchester, Aphid Kirby, and Chris Frampton.